What is up? This is your boy Anecdotal, and today, today we're finally going to take on the new level of peacekeeping. What is this? Chapter 5? Chapter 5. Hard peacekeeping. All right. So listen, this right here is the most difficult game mode there is in the game. Story mode. All right. The hardest thing you can do why because they actually have restrictions so here only power now you already know all might is gonna be in there world hero mission bakugo i'm probably gonna say uh is also gonna be there and let's have that free to play uraraka right there for all of you out there that just don't know that you could actually beat this game with free to play characters let's go ahead and have your girl uraraka so let's go ahead and get this started now uh i'm just gonna have this random man you're just gonna have the path maker do its thing first up we got uru so let's go ahead and see what she can do as you can see got the uniform on there bam free to play uniform right there as well i think how do you get this one you i think you either get this from from the super co-op where where you could get talents if not you get this from from the event trophies instead of like grabbing a few character fragments you can get that one percent attack they should add more uniforms into these events like for the for the trophies and the same thing for super co-op because i mean like why not It'd be a nice way to to integrate some stuff actually there's a whole thing about uniforms that's one way to get uniforms trophies right event trophies for the time events the other one the other way to get uniforms is in-game currency the very first like uniform that came out like not within the game but the one that was like kind of advertised i guess was all my uniform which i did not get which you can get for in-game currency you get them from gems so instead of pulling you could get that i think it was like three thousand so it was like 500 over a 10 pull and i was like i'd rather get completely shafted and not get what i wanted to pull than get this well if it wasn't three thousand it was five thousand for some reason in my head like the three like a three and a five look too close together <laughs> for my memory if i see it in paper you know i see it on paper i would know what it is but if you guys remember if it was a three or five thousand gem cost for for all my uniform let me know but the thing the other reason why i didn't want to buy it is because they had some sort of like event currency next to it and i thought it might be farmable that was the other reason why i didn't get it and now the newest way to get uniforms is through is through like payment actually i think you could also get the all might uniform with dollar dues as well but yeah the new ones one was a login which was crazy one was through spending energy and event which was the best one and then then there was 25 dollars usd crazy bro that wasn't gonna happen but there's just so many different ways of getting uniforms and i don't know i like if they're trying a whole lot of different things to see what works hopefully the 25 dollar one wasn't like a huge thing so that doesn't happen as much but they really need to stick to events and for for the for the free to plays you should just make it you know them being able to get it right for the pay to wins let's be real man if you're making bank you want it and you want to be a pay to win player you probably don't have super like a large amount of time laying around to play the game yeah so maybe maybe you 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 just have to sell energy that way like that that's what i'm thinking i think that would be maybe an overly towards free to play sort of adjustment but yeah i'm totally okay with having like premium uniforms but the other thing that they did about uniforms which is only discovered with deku is that they don't is that they override each other you know they're not additive so the one percent for the new deku uniform is the same one percent attack that you get from the old deku uniform that you could have got when you first started playing the game which really destroys the value of any future uniforms for the same character so that's that's bad you know there, there's no way to sell uniforms if they both gave you a one percent the one percent might be useless but maybe on the third or fourth uniform it's now four percent one each four percent and then suddenly maybe it's worth it to get it so i mean that's another like you, you could have also monetized uniforms in that way and it would be very small and incremental but also very purposeful and then it'll make people be like oh maybe i should spend three thousand gems on this instead of pulling 
I'm just saying. All right, let, let's get back to peacekeeping mode. As you can see, man, All Might, All Might is just... Psh, psh. First of all, he's the only person here in my account that's over level 120. Everyone else is at level 120. This is the only one that I leveled up because I've only been farming chips. Wait, no, not chips. Crystals. I've only been farming crystals, man. My goal has been getting uh, everybody to to have all green crystals, which I have done. And now my goal is getting everybody to blue crystals. But with the opening of this new game mode, or the extension of the hard version of peacekeeping, there are like a whole lot of purple and orange crystals to be had. So my All Might is probably going to have mostly purple plus orange, probably the same for Endeavor. Those are my two big hitters. And after that, I'm thinking I'm gonna stop putting so much into Aizawa. For Aizawa, I have all his chips maxed to level 16. He doesn't have the greatest chips, but they are all maxed to 16. And I feel like they're, they're not fully overclocked, but of the five stars, I think he has at least three or four stars on every single one of his chips. So like a lot of work has been put into him, but I'm just not really seeing a return on investment on him. Maybe it's cause he's the only S and my All Might and Endeavor are both double S. So it, it could be that, but I don't know, man. May, maybe it's that people get Aizawa for free when you first start playing the game, as long as you're active and you know, you, you do all the things, <laughs> you get your six, uh, what was it like six heroes to level 90 or to level 80 or something like that. And um, I think having Deku or like one of them to SS, something like that. Well, maybe, maybe it's something about him being somewhat given to you. It makes me feel like he's not as great of a of a character than others. I don't know, man. Before, I would say, you know, that he was like an A tier character, but now, maybe not. Maybe he's slightly below that. Maybe he's like an A minus. You know, maybe he doesn't belong up there. Like Stain is definitely better. You know, maybe I should start focusing on him more. Even though he's also just S, maybe. But that's just me, man. You tell me where do you, how many characters? Comment that down below. How many characters, and who are they? It'd be great that you named them as well. Should I focus on other than Aizawa? And remember, they're all at S. Like, is Bakugo better? Is the original Icy Hot? Is Todoroki better? You know? Is Fuk Fumikage better? All, all questions, really, that I'm just not sure about anymore. Because at any other time, I would have been like, dude, no, he's great. But the first thing is, I have no idea how to play with him manually. So I'm always going to play auto. <laughs> so maybe that's one problem. But also, what about the things where he will be on auto? Like, like all of co-op. How valuable is he? Sure, he ties people up and stuff and he throws those cow licks. But how great is it on auto? At S. Let me know. Down, down there in the comments. And in the meanwhile, using OG Todoroki. Now, if you didn't know how to play him, he's actually really fun, but he's more fun, I would say, in his ice form because you can get to like triple the W skill and then he's frozen and then you do like, you do the E and then you switch and the fire has extra damage. And then with the fire, like when he switches over to fire, it's kind of okay. You have like a lingering fire beam with his W and then you get to actually hold on to the E to do like a super strong Kamehameha -E kind of punch. Or maybe should I say more of a KO Ken, sort of like Captain Falcon Punch. Actually, yeah, Captain Falcon Punch. That's yeah. There you go. That's that's what I would say. That is. All right. He's he's a fun character. Honestly, when it comes to tech, I feel like my tech might be my weakest team, mostly because I don't know how to play with everybody. So Endeavor, Endeavor. The only thing I don't like Endeavor is that I have to get to his lines for him, and getting there is a bit of annoying. Uh, it's a bit of a pain, but once I'm there, yeah, man, this skill, the W skill is amazing, but it's it's such a range attack. Unless the the enemy doesn't have a shield and gets knocked back by the lance, like the little, the dash for the lance, the second swipe always misses, which is really annoying. So you really got to try to get your your spacing perfect. So what I like to do is I like to dash twice, like away from the from the enemy sometimes once depending on how far i am that way the slash also gets him but i'm not even sure if that slash is worth it and then the e the e just sucks everybody in and does tremendous damage the only downside to that could be is if they end up popping too high up it's going to be hard to hit him after that with the basic attack 
But yeah, it's all about having him in his land skill, using his basic attacks. If you didn't know this part, at the very end of peacemaking, uh, the peacekeeping mode, it automatically picks somebody. You could always stop that by clicking on the map, clicking on the character you want to use to be beating the boss. Because this is all time. There's a 360 minute timer for you to three star it. And of course, for every star that you get, you get 20 hero coins 20 so like this is just one stage 60 hero coins next stage 60 hero coins right if there are six stages and that's three on each one and you get 20 hero coins per that's 300 hero coins man so right here each chapter is worth 300 hero coins and time wise oh we're about to find out how long it's gonna take if it if it doesn't take too long i'm gonna try to do like maybe two chapters per video but if this ends up taking, because <laughs> the minimum is 360, right? That's three minutes per, right? And there are, are there like five or six. I don't I don't know how many stages, but you know, three times five, it'll take about 15 minutes. Actually, maybe I could do two videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless there's more than five stages, well, we're we're gonna have to figure it out. But yeah, because 360 is three minutes, but that's not that's not including all the loading screens. Hmm. I might have to do this a little faster. Yeah, 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 I might have to do this a little faster. All right, my speed team is right here. So you guys, don't underestimate Froppy, man. I, I, hear, I hear some of you disrespecting the Fropp. Don't do that. Don't disrespect Froppy like that. Did I get her uniform? No, because I'm not paid to win like that. Man, did I want it. I see people with that uniform in, in AA or in Defense Hub, and I'm just like, I envy you, man. I see you. I see you with that Froppy unit. But yeah, not your boy here. So if you didn't know how to play with Froppy, right? Even if you just started playing the game and you're like, huh, how do we play with Froppy? Bro, you have to dash before every attack is what I figured out. So you dash and then you set the poison. And for some reason, instead of just setting the poison, she does like a little attack and sets the poison. You dash and then you do the W and then it's like a swipe. And then there's like a second where she's nowhere. And then there's like a huge like rotating tongue. So it's like a huge like AOE attack. But it's really just for one hit. But it's actually pretty powerful. And then there's the continuous dodge. So like you you dash and then you press Q and you just keep like bouncing over the character. And the first bounce is the strongest bounce because it has like 40% true damage or something like that. And then after that, you just kind of keep going. For Fumikage, he's also kind of a complicated speed character to play. You, you just keep pressing the special. So you click on the special and it increases your attack speed. So you just you just start attacking until the bar is filled and then you press Q, you transform into your like rampage mode, I think it's called. And then you if that skill is still active, you can press it. And once you're in rampage, you already have an increased attack speed. And then you will like double the attack speed of your already increased attack speed and then do ridiculous damage. That being said, his skills also do a lot of work. So his W skill, he has like two versions of the W skill where he like goes insane and you recover a whole lot of HP. Then you jump, jump up into the air and like slam him down. A lot of damage. The W, I mean the E, refreshes the W. He kind of like gathers everyone and throws him up in the air. Refreshes the W and then you go up in the air, you slam them and then you get to do that, that thing again where you gain a whole lot of HP back. So, I mean, honestly, he's one of those characters where I'm really not sure how to use him there are two ways to use him i'm guessing if you have mustard which increases your skill attacks you want to focus on trying to get to rampage as soon as possible and once you're in that mode you know your w and your e change like your regular w just kind of sucks everybody in not a lot of damage just really good for crowd control and then the uh the w you you get everyone you, you just kind of close in on them it's like a little claw and you just hook over to them and then you're there not not great you know so really you just really try to get get to rampage mode by just doing attacks but once you're there you click w and you switch that's all you do now for a stain as you can see i got game start on him game start increases his penetration by 20 all his crystal like this is one of my how do i say <clears throat> my bad this is one of my experimental characters even though he's such a great character I, i'm doing experiments on him it's like anecdotal what do you mean experiments all right 
I'm doing a full penetration build on him. So, for all of his attack crystals, like the left-sided crystals, all penetration. Whether it's green, blue, purple, orange, at some point they're all going to be one thing. It's all going to be penetration. I'm going to try to get to the max of penetration and see what happens with Stain. And then I have Game Start on him because it's a recommended card for him, which gives him 20% penetration. So whatever defenses you have, it's going to go down. That's, that's one thing. The other thing that you could do with him, because he has so many attacks with his attack, like his, uh, once you do his E and then you try to dash the second you press the E, which for me doesn't always work out. She doesn't jump up in the air and like waste time. <laughs> that, that's really what it does. When you're continuously doing the regular attack, the basic attack, <clears throat> man, really got to drink some water in between these. How long are we going? All right. So what you really want to do is give him like a crit crit build. I don't know how you want to split the crit and the crit damage, but since he has so many attacks, so many slashes, and it builds up so high, giving him crit and crit damage might be a good idea. But since I saw that penetration was recommended for him, I feel like feeding him pen, but giving him a crit rate, crit damage build might also be a good idea because he has so many hits, man. So uh, you tell me which way you're going to go with it. You could all always go like the safe route, attack HP. But the more I'm playing the game, the more I'm thinking that even though HP and, and I've been giving all my characters HP, the ones that I care about, even though HP is like the higher BP gain for your stats, I'm really thinking decrease. Oh, they also changed the wording. I was going to have a whole video on it, but it was going to be like three minutes, so I decided not to. So they changed the wording from, from decrease to damage reduction. If you saw it down below, comment if you notice that they completely changed it. Decrease is now damage reduction. Now, damage reduction sounds sexy, doesn't it? It sounds so much better than decrease. Because every time you think decrease, you have to read the description, and then the description says it decreases the amount of damage you take. But damage reduction, I don't know. Some, something about the wording there, and this is why words are important. I mean, the definition of diction is word choice, my dude. De damage decrease, right? Or damage reduction sounds a lot better, sounds sexier. Maybe, and I've, and I've been saying this since, since the game first launched, maybe decrease, which has now been changed, labeled differently, probably still scored the exact same way. Damage reduction might be better than HP. I said it. I said it, man. If I get a damage reduction on my gear stats, that's uh, a pink stat, I'll probably replace it from the HP, even though a non-pink HP stat is worth more. I know this because I've replaced it already. And I know it lowers your, your BP. I don't know why it lowers the BP, but it does, man. HP is just valued higher. But does battle power really mean that you're stronger? Does it? I mean, it's in the word, battle power, of course, man. Your battle power is higher, you have to be stronger. But are you, though? What if you decrease... Can you decrease more damage uh, than HP? How much is HP really going to help you when you can just decrease the amount of damage you take? It's really, like, something to think about. I don't know. But it could just be because I'm starting to lose in Super Co-op. <laughs> it could be that. I don't know what happened, but I'm starting to lose in Super Co-op out of nowhere. My theory, my running theory, is that I didn't finish Peacekeeping, and some people just have way better crystals on their characters than I do. And then my other running theory is that some people, somebody commented this in one of my videos, decided to go ham on food in the past event. In the uniform event for Deku, I ended up throwing all of my energy in there. And what I ended up spending everything on is maxing out uh, card reinforcements. So card EXP to max everything out to, to 60, 40, or 20, wherever my cards were at. After that, I decided to max out chips. So all of my nine characters, at least most of them, are at 16. I think maybe my last team, maybe, they're at 13. 16 is max. So I level all that up. And then... I got into an even number and then I started just getting crystals. So that's one of my other theories. It's that, you know, maybe there's just too much of a difference, a gap in crystals, but I'm not too sure about that one. And then my last theory, which I think is the best one, is that 
more people have characters that are over level 120. The only one that's not for me is All Might. And I've noticed that sometimes when I try to do damage, I do almost no damage at all. And every once in a while, like when you look at the stats of your characters, your defense specifically, same thing with some offensive skills as well, it'll say something like, it, specifically stats info when you first click on your character, it says for characters that are like your level or below. So that means if a character is higher than that level, it might disregard some of the attack and some of the defense. So some of my characters are probably being completely wrecked because of the def level difference. And I need to get everyone on my super co-op team to level 130 stat, or else I'm going to continuously get wrecked. But yeah, uh, technical team. All right, so this time, this time we're going to go with Dobby instead of instead of the regular Todorogi. But look at that. Look at that. We got the whole family here. <laughs> All right. If you didn't know, I, I don't know how you still don't know yet, you know? All right. So Dobby is also a pretty interesting character. He's actually a lot like uh, Fumikage with the with the clicking special and then like going into rampage mode. I forgot what his mode is called, but yeah, he goes into some sort of like fiery mode. So the whole thing is you want to click the thing, the special button so that all of your skills will give you a higher amount of like flame upgrades and then you want to use all of your skills especially the q now you kind of want to time it so you want to use your w and your e before your q because the q does more damage based on how burned the enemy is so you want to use the w and the e to burn your enemy and now that you see it's all burned sometimes the q will like light up like the game is telling you all right you did your thing try to use q now since they're burned you'll do more damage and then you do that the only thing i don't like about him is that he's so slow man and sometimes when i try to uh dash he dashes backwards it's so annoying and look at this man so the time it takes for me to run up to a like a character and rescue them i will lose my like inflamed sort of mode uncool yeah pro maybe i maybe i picked the wrong guy maybe i shouldn't want with regular todoroki but as you can see here, man, he's actually a pretty good character. Let me get in close for me to transform. So he also, when you click on that special, he does transform and he does pretty well. Oh, there is something you should know. I have no real good cards on him. I have nothing. As you can see, all I have is that, that standard four-star attack card on him. And other than that, yeah, he probably has like nothing but like four-star cards or like mediocre five-star cards that are on him that are not leveled up at all. I Everything I have is all focused on, like, my core nine. Oh, and I just got this card. The the All Might active card. So, as you guys might know, on my All Might, I have an All Might active card on him that is actually broken through. It's B2. Not, not B4, like all the whales out there. Just regular B2. Out of nowhere, I ended up fusing, like, I don't know, an Ecto and, like, two, two other, like, defensive cards and something like that. And out of nowhere, right before making this video, I ended up getting an active card for All Might. I was like, what? All right, who would I put this on? Probably Todoroki. Because that's my dude, man. That right here, this is my dude. He is a co-op beast. Now, I know the other co-op beast is World Hero Mission Deku. But, yeah, man, I, I just don't put anything into Deku. I don't know why. <laughs> I just don't, man. Actually, I do know. I don't know how to play with him manually, man. So you guys are gonna have to position down below for me to learn how to play with Deku because I, I don't know how to do it. You know, I might have to watch someone else's video on it or something. Or maybe I'll, I'll go into training and figure it out. But yeah, no idea how. But let's go ahead and get the big homie Endeavor. Bam, already his, his EX card is activated. So again, the only thing I don't really like about the star is I always have to start off with that W. It's kind of like waste time. But that's it, man. Once he gets that Lance out of the floor, it's going down, bro. Just seconds later, everything is destroyed. It says I got plus 30 seconds. You think I need those 30 seconds? This thing is, is he already down? No, he's not down yet. And is he a little up in the air? Can't really hit him. And done. Bam. You, just, you don't mess with it, man. My, my two most built people are All Might, who's probably level like 123, 124 right now. And Endeavor, like I said, everyone else is like level 120. Actually, Dobby's probably level 110 100 or 110 i feel like i got all my other characters to 100 
something like that. Except for like Tailman. Tailman's 90. Yeah. And uh who else? Mineta. Mineta as well. He's probably also down there. But yeah, for for old banner characters that you like I wasn't sure where are they gonna be amazing, are they not? I'm pretty sure I put a lot of levels into them, but yeah, not not so much here, not so much here. Boom! Yeah, so like his real big damage actually comes from the throw and when he picks it up. When he picks up his lance, it's just like amazing damage there. And he is about to get destroyed. You got you gotta love it, man. Bam, boom. Over. Over. <clears throat> Ooh. Alright, and then <clears throat> click 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 and that's done. You really just can't mess with Endeavor, man. The clears with Endeavor and All Might are just different compared to everybody else. All right, so like I said, 360 to 3 star. That means that for every mission, because even though there are three characters, you have to use one of them twice for the boss, right? So four stages, 360. 360 divided by four, 36 divided by four is nine. So 90 seconds. So each... Every single one of these stages needs to be 90 seconds or below for you to get a three star. Obviously, you don't want to hit exactly 360 seconds. So, yeah, as long as you can finish or capable of finishing this 90 seconds and below, you're all the way good. And I don't think I hit 90 seconds with, with any character so far. If I did, let me know in the comments, but I don't remember doing that. All I know is that my clears with uh, Stain... Even if they're not quick, man, do they feel quick. Look at this. Man, do they feel quick, dude. Look at, oh, I'm already here. This is like the third wave. You gotta love it because this also sucks them in while he does the attack. And then the penetration is just so high. Like, defense means nothing to my man, dude. Nothing, it means nothing. I put so much penetration on him, man. He just cuts through, bro. He really does. 31 seconds. 31. Let's just round it down to 30. I needed 90. I took a third of the time to do that. That's the kind of thing that you can do with Stain, Endeavor, and All Might. All right, now, now for a not so great sort of attack with the homie Fumikage Todoroki. I mean, my bad, Fumikage. Let's go. So, yeah, man. I always keep messing up with it, dude. I keep in my mind. I'm like, all right, press this, press this, go into Q, and switch. But, yeah, it isn't until right now that I did that. Well, it is what it is, man. But, yeah, so this is what I'm saying. You could just do basic attacks super fast, right? But here, okay, good. I gathered them. Whoa, I thought they were close, dude. But then they ended up jumping back. If they didn't jump back, that W would have absolutely demolished everyone, and I would have been on the third stage a lot sooner. Yeah. All right, and then here I am doing it for no reason, and then I came out of uh, Rampage mode boop okay as you can see man it, it's not the cleanest run here so i'm probably not gonna hit that 30 second mark am i what do you think i'm thinking 45 let's see i'm thinking it took 45 seconds right 48 seconds hey not bad okay so 50 let's get round up here we're rounding so eight goes up you feel me so out of the 90 seconds it, it had to take right the minimum to get the three star it ended up being 48, so 50. A free 40 seconds. And then the other one, I hit it in 30, right? So free 60. So I'm already a minute and 40 seconds up. Definitely not, not struggling. And then this is Froppy. You don't mess with Froppy. I keep telling you guys, man, you underestimate Froppy. Just because she's free to play? Hmm? Just because she doesn't look strong? Not one of those beefy boys? Like All Men in Endeavor? Look how quickly that wave got out. All right, here I have no skills, so hold on. I should have just waited. All right. And then, yeah, man, I know it might not be the best thing, but I temporarily have Ecto on her. I don't really use basic skills very often. But look at Oh, man, why you got to try to attack attack the hostage, man? All right, let me just put poison around there. All right, am, wait, is my poison hurting the hostage? I hope not. Now, now I'm just attacking. Now, how are you not hit there? All right, let me go ahead and do this. Q, Q, I used the wrong skill. All right, are we done? There's another one. Dude, they actually went for the hostage. Ew. Yo. Look at all the poison on the floor, man. It looked way worse there. 43 seconds. 
So that was actually comparable to to what Fumikage did. Did not think that was going to happen. But I did kind of get lost in the sauce there with her. And lost track of where my opponents were. And then they went to attack the hostage, man. How dare they? How dare they? It actually, it actually made me worry. Because if their attacks were like high, I would have totally lost the hostage. But Swordsman v. Swordsman. Stain v. Random Guy with a Sword. If you guys know what this guy's name is. What is it? Dark Blade. Alright. If he had like an actual name, I'd be like, bro, really? Alright, I'll slash, I'll slash, I'll slash, I'll slash. Get out of here, defense. Get out of here, defense. Completely sliced. Completely diced. Dude, mess with it. Alright, so it's all about rooting him with the W so he can't move. And then just going in. Just going all the way in. Game start is there. And let's go ahead and up our attack. Oh, dude, I, I really don't like this, man. So this is actually part of the W. You end up building the rage meter, like in the bottom. I don't know if it's called a rage meter for him, but whatever. Uh, when it finishes, he just kind of goes crazy and do, does those slashes. The thing about this is, the pixels for the people are like one small square, and he just continuously dashes. Like, he continuously goes for slashing with the sword, right? 41 seconds, so 40 of 90. Easy, easy clear so far. And we get our first purple. I mean, our first orange, which is the highest ranking crystal. So, yeah, we are done. We are done with the chapter. Uh, let me know, actually, for speed, if you want me to play with Ida. A lot of people are underestimating Ida, a lot like how they were underestimating Froppy. And, yeah, bro, I'll show you, man. I'll show you what Ida can do. No matter no matter where you are in the game, your Ida will be sick. All right? Sick. Just just saying. We'll, we'll, we'll find out next time as we click and collect 300 honor coins right there and you know what let's actually pull as well wish me some luck as i sign off but as always if you like this video man make sure to like it share with anybody from the mha community and of course don't forget to make yourself known and comment down below peace and good luck on these missions